Hello, you beautiful people, and welcome back to Let's Play Warhammer 40k Inquisitor Prophecy in the next episode. In this episode, in um, another turn in this priority assignment, a little purge major cult case again on Dagenburg. We opened a new case file on an emerging death cult. They rose to infe infamy by dismembering the inhabitants of entire habitats, sparing none from the plate. Spy drones have tracked them to a manufacturium in the outer districts. Directive none shall live. Slay them all for the Emperor. Only corruption lies beyond the veil. There is nothing but suffering and death beneath the stars. Oh, well, yeah, if you say so, I can't argue with that. Then that is sadly enough the point. Um, weirdly, Imperial facility here, um, and weirdly I mean of course the map layout sometimes. This is very, very, well, uncool. So this is um point, that's always what I'm noticing when I am playing back to back a couple of episodes or a couple of missions then what is well very very for my eyes for me very very pleasing of course is the different atmospheric effects in this wonderful game I by the way this looks very very cool uh, especially from afar what I wanted to say here is of course that the map okay a demented psycho that of course ain't cool um, the map we played before case okay, would have been cool of course to have an outside map for example right now but it is very very cool that this is a lighter the, the, this, this, this incarnation of the map is a little lighter and not as dark as the last two episodes before and of course the destructible environment is amazing really really love that Okay, this world bearer marine is going to be taken out. Fair enough, gone he is. These guys are gone as well. And then into the next little floor it goes. Come on, open up, open up, open up. Through we are. Focusing on the world bearer for sure. Enforcers always taking a look in every corner. I don't want to oversee. I'm sorry. Don't want to oversee all the enemies. Not all the enemies, but it. Since um, if you have seen the last, uh, the, the not the last episode, but the episode before the last episode, I needed to go back all, um, not all, all through the map, but um, I needed to get to kill two or three more enemies which I've just overseen because I didn't take a look into the right corner. Shame on me. Okay, quick look inside here as well. Nothing, nothing, nothing. That is what we want. And then we are actually quickly going... Okay, I've this time luckily seen this... No! Okay, good. <laughs> I thought I was going into the skull or into the trap there again that would have been not not good but sadly enough I saw it in the last second I only saw it because um, I stopped there for a second um, normally I would just would have run through it I assume all right this guy shall fall as well and then with a couple of more enemies to the right side ah the purchase the most the greatest <laughs> not the greatest mission type in inquisitor so i actually need to resummon a couple of constructs weirdly but there we have all of them at full health and so on where we need so there's a little room down here, of course filled with enemies, but maybe with a tinty little chest as well. But I've been a little bit unlucky here. That of course is too bad. Bring it down. Thank you. Thank you. 
thank you. Okay, there was a World Barrel Marine, which I've ever seen as well. Sometimes it's very not, I don't want to say hard, it is not very hard, but it is um, weird if sometimes enemies do hide, quite per accident I assume, behind some columns, some corners, and then it's always, it's not always possible to actually see them. Okay, all the little blood there. <laughs> this is actually... Um, I, okay, there I've of course overseen the map. What I think is good as well. It for me wouldn't have been the 40k universe. It's not truly 40k universe if there wouldn't be as much blood as is actually integrated into the game right now. Since for me the... Of course 40k is not only... Not only very very dark but very very brutal as well. So that is the reason why... I do think the blood is just enough right there. So, some mines have been summoned. I don't know whether I've overseen a skull again. I would like to check that. Okay. I think I've not overseen a skull. So, that is for one, for change, quite good. Some floating mines. Weird enemies. They, of course, since they are just mines, they are not really, really armored. And they don't have much HP, but if they hit you, that might be a teensy little bit troublesome if you are unlucky. One last push. Push. Yes, one last push. We will do. Unbound Raiders will fall as well. And we have a little help route there, okay. So resummon, 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 that is the most important part. I am going to switch the weapon for a change because this weapon is or tends to be better against heavily, well, not heavily armored, but against armored targets in deep. So all constructs are back. The Hellbrute is the last remaining enemy right here. Once again, the enemies of the Imperium failed miserably. Not once again, as usual, as usual, they of course don't stand a chance. Oh my goodness, this word barrel looks absolutely amazing with the little horns, the great axe. Very, very gruesome character indeed. So, post action report the enemy lies broken and butchered the nauseating presence of cultist corruption is this di um, dissipating our psycho detail has dismantled a suspect's heretic mind and the contents spoke volumes the large-scale cultist penetration is now confirmed next step punitive actions of the astro military were the main motivation behind the cultist activity now we must increase our efforts to eliminate the threat and that guys we will do in the next episode but for now i as usual really really thank you for watching if you guys actually do have enjoyed this episode then please guys give me a little thumbs up and subscribe and hopefully and hopefully i'll see you in the next episode until then have a nice day stay frosty bye